Hello and welcome to another Read I Can tutorial. Uh, lately we haven't had been uh, making tutorials because we've been hard at work on our website, which has been cutting us back a while. The last tutorial we made was over was about three weeks ago. So yeah, today we're going to be teaching you how to uh, download and edit a template, and then some uh, expect in a, a future uh, tutorial teaching you how to import it. Okay, uh, there's there's gonna be two things you need. There's gonna you're gonna need Adobe Dreamweaver and WinRAR. Okay, first thing we're gonna go uh, do is go into your internet browser and type in free CSS templates dot org. Sorry, I keep writing template so templates. Okay, these are all the latest templates right here but you can go into the all the CSS templates and then just search them that you find one that you like just click a random page and just download um, this one you click it and you can preview it first before you download it then when you're ready to download just click that open it with the WinRAR extract to and then put it on any folder you want but personally I uh, actually I always uh, put it into um, test templates which is something I make for all my tests okay and it should be already be done uh, down doing that open up Dreamweaver oops crap okay go up to open desktop extra files test templates and then click the one you just downloaded you want to open up the index and you always want to save this uh, when you're done with it you always want to save it as index uh, index.html okay now you can just type whatever you want here like you can edit all this like I don't know what that was you just type in stuff like um But yeah, you can type whatever you want. You can drag stuff, which I did not actually mean to do. Edit headlines. <coughs> you can basically do anything you want. Add pictures, delete pictures. Like okay, so if you want to insert a picture, go up to insert, then click image or control alt i, then go into images or find any image that you want from any place, and then just import it like that. You can also make it a link by doing that. But see, here's an ad space now for people to put their ads. This came with the layout, but yeah. So there's that. And you can do all kinds of stuff. Oh wait, that's not what I just put down. My bad. But anyways, close enough. At least you know how to do it now. You can insert uh, media. By going, I don't exactly understand this yet. I think you have to go into SWF and find the video and stuff. Or you can also just, uh, if you want like to embed something, like a widget or something that you have the HTML code for, just go right click wherever you want, click insert HTML then you can just copy and paste that and just enter or not enter you just get out of that and be like that to make links all you have to do is hover over things and then go down here to link and type in like whatever you want well it has to start with HTTP in order for it to work see okay now if you want to change the colors of stuff like the backgrounds they're all images so you have to change the images and upload your own for that you can go into you can choose as white and all this will turn white and you can go into links and link colors can you can change that to like blue and all the links are blue now <coughs> 
Okay, so <clears throat> you can enter your copy right here. And whatever you really want. You can edit these this stuff. You can edit the that and this that this I'm not exactly sure how to work this crap. Well actually I, I sort of am, you just have to like it's just too complicated. So I don't really mess with it. Anyways, and then how to make a Linux peer okay, you see how this is home? You would want to go to index.html and then blog, you're gonna go to blog.html and for photos wait, did I even oh yeah I did. And for photos you're gonna go to photos dot html about you're gonna go to about dot html contacts you're gonna go to contacts dot html you can also edit these buttons and make them link to different pages but then you're gonna wanna save it when you're done by control s <coughs> that's what I just did and then you wanna uh, uh, you wanna edit it whenever you're done editing and stuff like okay you're done with the home page because you just saved it as index.html which is the home now blog you don't have to open up to anything different you can just type in different stuff whatever you want and type in whatever and then control <coughs> control shift s or you can go up to or you can go up to file save as and then you're going to name this blog.html and save Okay, then another window will pop up. This is the blog and this is the index. Okay, then you want to create another one for photos. You want to control, uh, shift, s, or file, save as. Okay, then you want to name this photos.html. Okay, now you want to go to about and save it as about.html. And then you want to go to contact, or you want to name this uh, okay, now you're in contact. Edit the page however you want and go to contacts.html. Remember, this is only for beginners, so it's not going to be like perfect or anything. So, yeah. Then you're going to want to preview it by pressing F12. And this is what it will look like whenever you're done. See, here's the contact page, home page, blog page, photo page, about page, contact page, and so on. And that's basically how you edit templates and download them. Uh, download and edit templates. And here's their copyright here and everything. You can add custom images or anything you want. So yeah, I'm actually kind of like this template. I might consider it. Anyways, so thanks for watching this Read I Can't tutorial. And please remember to check out the website at www.readicant.co.nr. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you on the next Read I Can't tutorial.